Republican presidential hopeful Fred Thompson came to Collier County to roll out his immigration reform plan today. The former Tennessee senator has made his stance on illegal immigration clear throughout his campaign, but until now didn't reveal any specifics on how he would fight it. NBC2's Marissa Brainy now explains why Thompson chose to make the announcement right here in southwest Florida. First, a fictitious reason for his visit with Collier Sheriff's deputies. So I naturally gravitate to people who believe in law and order. I mean, that's for one thing. <laughs> but after laughing about his acting alma mater, former Senator Fred Thompson got to the real reason, his immigration reform plan. Thompson wants an end to sanctuary cities, communities where local law enforcement is not allowed to work with federal agents to combat illegal immigration. This is exactly the opposite thing it should be doing. This is exactly uh, the opposite of what's going on in Collier County. Thompson says the Collier Sheriff's Office's program that trains and designates deputies to double as deportation agents for illegal criminals should be a model for other communities nationwide. And for communities that make things easier for illegals, Thompson calls for punishment. I just don't think they ought to be able to do that with federal money. And there's discretionary funding programs out there that uh, we need to tell them, if you're going to have sanctuary cities in violation of the law, you're not getting federal money. There was some teeth in it. There was some uh, uh, movement to enforce existing law on those cities that absolutely deny local law enforcement the ability to report. Deputies involved in the ICE program told Thompson today they do need federal help to make it all work, more funding for ICE agents. We're only able to detain right now one out of every five criminally active illegals that come through the back door at our jail. And that's because ICE doesn't have the bed space in order to hold them. Reporting in Collier County, Marissa Brainy, NBC2.